Many thousands of written fragments of Dead Sea Scrolls have been discovered over the past century. These often represent remnants of larger texts, either damaged via natural causes or human activities, the vast majority only holding a small portion of the original text. However, a small number of them were well preserved, subsequently found almost intact, with nearly a dozen of those found within the Qumran caves. Researchers have since pieced together a collection of some 981 different manuscripts, discovered from 1946 to 1956 from 11 caves. The Qumran Caves are located about one mile west of the northwest shore of the Dead Sea, from which they derive their name. Yet one scroll in particular has escaped modern translation, this due to its abnormal metallurgy, made from nearly pure copper it is said to contain a treasure map, leading anyone who can decipher the text and follow its instructions to a collection of enormous treasures, said to be hidden within the immediate vicinity of its found location. Bronze coins found at the site corroborate the radiocarbon and paleographic dating of the scrolls, indicating that the copper scroll is thousands of years old. This is, however, this issue halting any modern understanding of where the text suggests. The map details features on the land which would have indeed once led anyone to these treasures, yet in the modern day, these features are all but gone. According to the text, some 64 treasure hoards lay scattered across Jerusalem and the Judean desert, and is claimed to have been used to hide the most valuable treasures in the world from invaders including a huge amount of gold and silver. Found on two rolls of copper on March 14, 1952, at the back of Cave 3 at Qumran, it was the last of 15 scrolls discovered in the cave. The corroded metal could not be unrolled by conventional means, and so the Jordanian government sent it to Manchester University's College of Technology in England for it to be cut into sections, allowing the text to be read. Professor H. Wright Baker cut the sheets into 23 strips in 1956, and it soon became clear that the rolls were part of the same document. The first transcription was made by Joseph Millick. He initially believed that it was not an actual historical account. Later, however, Millick's view changed. He now believes that the scroll was separate from the community, although it was found at Qumran in Cave 3. As a result, he suggested the copper scroll was a separate deposit. Could this copper scroll possibly lead to a collection of 64 unimaginable ancient treasures? Only time will tell. We find the possibility, however, highly compelling.